Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and I'm the founder and owner of Tech Fusion Up. And today I am going to show you how to activate your private internet access VPN on a tomato USB router. Now for the version I'm using, it's 1.2. Well, it's right up here, what you can see. And the router that I'm using, it doesn't really matter what type of router you got as long as it runs this or a version of uh, tomato USB. The version of router I got is AUS um, N66U. Just got today, and so far so good. And I had enough time to play with it to see how good it is. But as far as this goes, the the uh, thing I'm point out is if your operating system's different as far as its older Tomato USB or it's a completely different operating system then your setup could be somewhat different but for the most part this video might still be somewhat useful to you also if you're using a different vpn your setup could be also somewhat different uh, but uh, for the most part again it could be useful to you now with that in mind because i'm physically not touching a machine or dealing with your router or whatnot and it, it's all in your head if anything goes bad it's on your head if anything goes good it's on your head so if anything goes good pat yourself on the back but um, anything goes bad, feel free to leave a question below and I'll try to help you out as best I can. Also, the best person or place to ask your questions is your actual VPN. And uh, they'll be able to answer your questions better than I can. So, go to the VPN tunnel and make sure that you're on the OpenVPN client. And make sure that the following is, is as is I got here. The WAN to WAN needs to be checked, so you need to enable that. The type needs to be TUN, the protocol needs to be UDP, and the uh, server. Now, here's the thing with the server. I got mine as United States Eastern server, um, mostly because of speed and whatnot. And the thing to keep in mind is if you're um, overseas or doing whatever, you need to put in whatever server that you want. So that's something to keep in mind. So if um, if another server is faster for you, put in that one. But for, for me, for my purposes, this one's faster. This one's location is in the New York, New Jersey area. I'm right now in North Carolina. So it, given that this is activated, it doesn't even show that I'm in, um, in North Carolina anymore as far as my IP address. Now the uh, port needs to be 1194, the firewall needs to be automatic, authorization needs to be TLS, and the username and password authentication needs to be checked, and you need to put in your private internet access username and password. Make sure that the username authentication only is unchecked, and the uh, HMAC is disabled and the NAT is enabled. So pretty much as I got right here and for the events the poll interval interval to zero redirect traffic uh, needs to be unchecked the um, DNS configuration needs to be strict the uh, pretty much as you see here I mean I, I'm, I'm not really going to go through the rest of this but the biggest thing to keep in mind is the TLS it needs to be zero and I think by default so this is at 30 and uh, by default this is at negative one or something like that so make sure that you put this as zero otherwise it won't work uh, in fact that was a hang up for me for a short time uh, I'll have this below in the description so you can copy and paste it and you don't have to worry about hunting that down also with this I have this the keys below in the uh, description so you can just copy and paste it Make sure that you copy the entire thing. As you see here, I got BN certificates and the N certificate. So just keep that one in mind. And then you need to, well, press start. Uh, oh, well, sorry about that. You need to save. Then it, once it's saved, you need to press start. And you see something like this. I'll be zero, but for the most part, it, it once you see that, you're good to go. Now, how do you know if this is working? Well, go to Google. Now, what you want to do is type in what is my IP. And it's going to show it there, and that doesn't say nothing to me. 
that's just a sudden number so we're just gonna click the first link then it says we're in New Jersey now like I said I'm in North Carolina so New Jersey and North Carolina is pretty far apart so it's it's working and um, try to find something else and as you see here it's showing New Jersey so it's pretty good distance so anyways if you got any questions or whatnot and also you can see right here um, this is the servers for their area so anyways if you got any questions or whatnot then please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible keep in mind the best place to ask your questions is your actual VPN and that way they can help you out in case if they change anything or or do whatever also um, I'll try to help you as much as I can but uh, for choosing your VPN I'll suggest you to do some research personally right now I think private internet access is the best as far as speed and security um, not so much in security as far as government security but as far as the uh, Joe Blow looking at my packages type of security but not NSA and the NSA probably can get in it no matter what so anyways this has been Craig Bennett the founder of Owner Tech Reason Up and again if you got any questions leave them below if you got any suggestions also leave them below and if you like this video then please like please subscribe and please share and hope you have a great day